Hey, this is Splash Sports Saturday, and today we're going to do the water cup race. You'll need a few items to get this done. You'll need some safety scissors, some cups, and thread. You'll also need some place to secure the thread after you put it through the cup. Now that you have all your supplies, your cup, your scissor, your thread, you're ready to begin. Take your scissor, put a hole in the cup, make sure the hole's the same size in both cups, because you have to be fair. Then take your thread, stick it through the hole at the bottom of the cup, push it all the way through, and then pull it out from the other side. And you want to leave enough thread so that you're able to tie it off onto the fence or the gate or the pole, whatever you're using to secure your thread, like you see here. That thread goes across both sides of the pool and the cup is kind of hanging and dangling in the middle. Take your thread and pull it across the pool so that you can tie it off on the other end like you did with the first one. So if you can see there a little bit in the picture, you see the thread going across the pools kind of just hanging there. And then you're taking another one and doing the same thing. Once you get that tied off on the other end and you make sure it's secure, do the same thing with the other cup. Make sure those are spaced out. Pull it all the way through, tie it off, make sure everything is secure, and then you're ready to get started. Okay, so now you're ready. Have someone hold both cups at the same height so that you can start the race fairly, count down, and let go of those cups and start squirting. Now, each participant can follow the cup okay, as it's squirted along the rope or the thread, and that will be yes, a little sir. easier to do. Go. But you can make it more challenging. You can have the participants stay in one place, one side of the pool, and do it from the other side. That's challenging. They could sit there on the other side or stand against the pool deck and squirt it that way. Good Take a look at how they're doing it as they follow the cup along. Come on, Sabrina! Come on, Sabrina! In the cup, Sabrina! Oh, one more shot! You gotta aim right! It's fun that way, but it can be a lot more challenging if you stay on one side of the pool and don't follow the cup. Just try to squirt the water, because then it's harder to get it in the cup if you stay on that one side. That's more challenging. And don't forget, if you don't have a pool to do this in, you can do this on land. Just find two ends to tie the thread on and make sure it's sturdy. And you can stay on one side and start squirting. There you go. Swimmers, take your mark. So that's it. Splash Sports Saturday, the water cup race. Try it. Let us know how you liked it. Send us some footage, send us some pictures. We'd love to see it.